because there are similarities with it between our refugee policy and the way in which Australia goes to war. Our refugee policy is characterised by callous indifference towards those who seek our help. It's characterised by indifference towards international law, hostility towards the UN system and its values, wasteful squandering of resources as Australia chooses the very most expensive option for dealing with the problem of refugees. It's characterised by shameful attempts to silence critics. And there is a high degree of government secrecy and total contempt for government honesty and integrity in our refugee policy. Let's look at Australia's practices in going to war. As with refugees, dishonest scare tactics are used. The magical words national security are uttered in an attempt to silence critics and the military are called in to solve the problem. The notion that ISIS fighters are a threat to Australia would be laughable if we didn't send our troops to Iraq quite so often. As with refugee policy, the human costs of war are hidden. For example, in Afghanistan, the Australian government states that official data collection on the civilian toll of that war didn't even commence until 2007, which was six years after the current war started. A new report from International Physicians for Prevention of Nuclear War called Body Count estimates that the so-called War on Terror has killed either directly or indirectly approximately 1.3 million people in Iraq, Afghanistan and Pakistan.